Alright. I'm approaching him. I'm approaching him. I don't think he sees me. I've already killed him once. I don't think he knows it's me. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Yep. He didn't see me. He's just shooting. I'm gonna park right here. Alright. Here we go. RPG. Karuma. Boom! <laughs> oh man. He quit shortly after that. Just so you guys know. <laughs> What's going on gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with a three glitch video. Guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to never get kicked, which is found by Freight Train What the Fudge, so shout out to him. Uh, I'm also showing you an RP an RP glitch, also found by him, as well as an off the radar invisible with guns, no cops glitch. Okay, and that one is found by Celestial Gaming. Their names will be down in the description. So first I'm gonna put these glitches all together. Now the first thing we're gonna do is right here I'm gonna show you how to never get kicked in GTA 5 online now what you do is you go into any invite only, you go into an invite only session public session doesn't matter you just got to be online now since I don't have the uh, Elgato or anything like that I'm gonna show you I just pulled up my dashboard like you can see right there that's what it looks like on Xbox PlayStation you guys go ahead and do the same thing it'll take about three to four minutes two to three minutes for us to get kicked like a longer time for you guys to get kicked unfortunately but there we go, so I get to this screen. Now, when you've been kicked, all you gotta do is go ahead to your dashboard and hit join friend. Any friend that you want, you just need the alert. So I go back to my, uh, I get back to GTA and I decline that alert. That's all you gotta do. So when you get kicked from a session, you just go to join a friend, any friend in GTA Online, just to get the alert, decline the alert, and now it's gonna boot you back to story mode. Okay, so when it boots you back to story mode, all you gotta do is go ahead and press start, go to online and jump into an invite only session, uh, if you want to stay there and never get kicked, or you can go ahead and jump into a public session to never get kicked. Now, once you jump into the session, I've tested it before, guys, for like hours. You, you can literally stand here and do nothing, and you will not get kicked. It is a pretty good glitch, I'm not going to lie. Now, here is a word of warning for you. I tried to combine all three of these, and only once did it actually work. Other times, I kept getting frozen when I was trying to do the off-the-radar invisible glitch. Okay, so word of warning, if you keep getting frozen, do not do the invisible off the radar glitch in an invite only session and don't mix it with that never get kicked glitch, okay? But now we're moving on to the off the radar glitch, the main glitch in this video. So what you're going to need for this one is you're going to need an MOC with the weapon and vehicle workshop, one special vehicle like the Phantom Wedge or the Rocket Voltec like you see right here, uh, 10 piss visors and obviously you got to have your warehouse, okay, your vehicle warehouse for the CEO. Now I'm going to go ahead and stock up on piss wisers. So you can either stock up right here, you know, in the uh, in the little, you know, convenience stores or you can go to your CEO office and get them from your assistant. Now, once you've done that, what you do now is you're ready pretty much to do the glitch. I'm I'm headed over right now to my vehicle warehouse, okay? This is where all your special vehicles go. So this is the first method that you can do. You can go ahead and throw some proximity mines right in front of that blue circle. I'd say literally a few feet, you know, in front of it. Now the point is you want to get blown up as you're going into the blue circle, you know, getting the animation. You won't get the animation, it'll look like this. Boom. So you see, right before I would be naturally getting the animation, I'm blowing up my vehicle, okay? So you're kind of confusing the game into thinking that you were going in there, but you're not. You got killed, okay? That will confuse the hell out of the game. This is the second way you can do it. Grab some sticky bombs, throw them right on your vehicle, okay? And then once you got them on your special vehicle, remember, it has to be a special vehicle, you drive it in, boom. Right before you hit the blue circle, I'd say hit left on the D-pad to blow up the sticky bombs. And that's what you want to see. You want to get wasted right before, you know, or you want to blow up right before you hit the blue circle and get wasted. You do not want to enter in. If you entered in, you waited too long. Now, I would recommend right here signing in as a CEO so that you can have access to your buzzard, okay? It's nice to have access to your buzzard. You want to be a CEO because you will be able to see yourself better on the map. Now head over to your MOC. You want to call out your MOC before you did that Rocket Voltex step, by the way. So, since we had the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, remember that is essential. You need the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. You cannot do this with the personal vehicle storage. When you walk into your Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, you will get stuck on an infinite black loading screen like this. PlayStation, easier for you guys. You guys can actually go ahead and go and uh, activate a recent activity. When you come back, you'll be unglitched. Now, for us on Xbox, I had to join a friend in a different targeting mode, so I suggest starting this in free aim or auto aim, whatever you uh, pick a friend that you know is in a different targeting mode than you and go opposite, okay, of him. All right, so I knew that I had a friend that was in free game, so I went into auto aim. 
So I went ahead and joined him, accepted the first alert, declined the second. Once I declined the second, boom, I'm invisible inside of my uh, vehicle warehouse for the CEO. Okay, now I raise up the volume here so you can see or you can hear. Drinking these piss wisers, what's going to happen is you want to double tap A on Xbox or double tap X on PlayStation. Now, you'll hear it when I double click. I go click, click, and I hold on that second click. That's how you will drink the full beer. Okay, and you want to drink about, it'll it, it'll probably pass you out at about two and a half or three beer, you know, three beers left. You want to just drink them all until you pass out. Those of you that keep saying, because it's happened before in previous glitches, those of you that say, I've drank all of them and nothing's happened, that's because you didn't fully drink them. You didn't chug them all. Uh, it's about six chugs per beer that'll, that'll waste it. And also, you'll hear them drop it, okay? Uh, that's how you know that you can go ahead and click on to the next one. Remember, double click and hold on the second click, okay? That's how you drink all your beers. And check it out. We are invisible. You spawn. You are completely off the radar right now, but not with guns. So you spawn right here at the hospital. Go ahead and pick up a helicopter. Uh, right now, nobody can see you. Invisible off the radar. But check this out. This is why I said sign in as a CEO. Now I go to, uh, I go to the map. I know where my uh, MC Clubhouse is. Now check it out. That orange circle is me, and that uh, the MC Clubhouse is right there. You want to make sure you know where your MC Clubhouse is because now this is how you actually get really unglitched for the most part. Not unglitched, but you'll be able to get guns and run faster. When I was at the hospital, I had to fast forward that because I actually wasn't running that fast. Uh, but yeah, this if you see right here, this is the speed. I'm like double tapping A right now. This is as fast as you can go. So you're kind of glitchy when it comes to running and you don't have weapons. Now you're gonna see when you go into your MC Clubhouse that all this is gonna do is kind of make you, it's gonna make you visible again for a few seconds and then it's gonna make you invisible once again once you go outside and you'll be able to actually access your weapons. So this is all this is for, all right? If you don't have an MC Clubhouse, there's some really cheap ones out there, a few hundred thousand dollars, all right? This is an expensive glitch to do. You need a lot of stuff, okay? But all you guys that have been duping cars and making money off glitches, this you guys will have no problem with this, all right? So go ahead and once you go into the clubhouse, walk around for a second or two and just go straight back out, all right? If you want to see yourself go invisible again. But uh, yeah, that's, it's, that's pretty much how you hit this glitch and that's it. Right here, once we step out, I'm going to take out a weapon. Boom, invisible. And now you got guns and now I can sprint. You are pretty much fully invisible off the radar. Everything goes, okay? Now, if you look at the bottom left, the radar is kind of screwed up. So this is what you want to do. Go ahead and click on start, go to settings, and you want to go down to display. Kind of uh, forgot where I was here, but go down to display. Don't go to radar like where I was there. You want to go down to expanded radar. I'm going to go to it here in a second. But at expanded radar, you want to go ahead and turn that on. Now you got the big radar screen on the bottom left. That is what you want, okay? And then you can do things like this, all right? You can actually go ahead and shoot RPGs and shit at people that do not see it coming. Check this out. He has no idea I'm right here. Boom, all right? That was actually the same guy I killed in the beginning of the video. Uh, yeah, I kind of trolled him for a little bit and made him leave the session eventually. I'm not going to lie. But uh, you, as you can see right here, you also don't get cops. But if the cops are around you, they will shoot at you. The NPCs know where you are. Other players in the game, you know, don't. Okay, so the NPCs do know where you are. But this is what I wanted to point out, though, about the no cops. Wherever your MOC is, is actually where the cops are going to go. Once you lose the, you know, once the, the stars start flashing over here, the cops will actually start going towards your MOC because that's where they think you are. Check it out. My MOC is right there. Look at where the cops are going. That is not my positioning right now. I'm up there in the hills, you know, in the Hollywood Hills. But yeah, the cops, yet the cops with my two stars are actually going over to my MOC because the game is confused and thinks that we're actually in the MOC right now. If you look right here, I'm going to show you where I am. There's that circle. Remember, sign in as the CEO because you will be able to see yourself with that, okay? Now, apart from signing in as the CEO, it's really helpful to have your MOC in the area where you're going to be trolling people or doing stuff. So if you want, you can actually move your MOC. If you see right here on the bottom left, I'm, I'm glitched out. I'm invisible off the radar. And th there's me moving with the MOC. They still can't see me, but I'm going to go ahead and park it right here. And then I can go ahead and start trolling people or doing whatever I want in this area. You see expanded radar now. That's me, the little, the little you know, orange circle. And that's my MOC right there by uh, Los Santos Customs. So that's what you want to do, all right? Expanded radar, put the MOC where you're going to be running around and trolling people, and there you go. Have fun with this glitch, guys. You know, just stay in that session, stay in that public session, and chill out, all right? Uh, yeah, so now 
Here is the other glitch that I wanted to show you. This is the RP glitch that you can actually mix all together. Okay, with the never get kicked, with the off the radar invisible, uh, you know, that gives you no cops, you can actually go ahead and go to the police impound. Like you see me, I'm going right here. Now, I am about to get cops right about now. There you go. I got cops, but if I just kind of climb up to here, and you can fly up to here with your oppressor or, you know, land with your helicopter if you want, uh, you know, you can go ahead and do all that jazz. And uh, yeah, you just want to end up right up here on this helipad area and go ahead and just put your back up to this door right here. That's all you got to do. Now I'm going to fast forward and check this out. From two stars, boom, I get 200 RP. It's not a crap load of RP, but it does help. Imagine if you had the never get kicked, invisible off the radar, no cops, so I'm in a public session. Nobody knows that I'm here. No other player knows that I'm here. And the cops will never come up here to get you or kill you or arrest you. I fast forward it again, check it out, another 200 RP, boom, I get two stars again. So yeah, if you leave this for a whole night, you can go up a pretty good amount, I'm not going to lie. Lower levels, it helps a lot more. Higher levels, it'll still help you guys, alright? So, it's up to you whether you want to do this, you know, but I just wanted to show you all three glitches and what they look like when you actually combine them. If you don't want to do the never get kicked glitch in the beginning, uh, you know, because it actually doesn't work and it keeps freezing you, just go ahead and put a rubber band on your analog stick and push it forward right there, and then you'll just stay, uh, you know, slammed up against the wall right there. Okay, but uh, yeah, another tip also, when you are glitched out, you know, invisible off the radar with no cops, uh, weapons in cars do not work, so you can't shoot out of the window in a car. You also can't use the weapons on, like, the buzzard or anything like that. That does not work, okay? But like I said, Go ahead and put your expanded radar up, park your MOC where you want to go around and troll people so that with the expanded radar, you can actually see your orange circle. Once you get out of that area, then you don't really know where you are. You want to be able to see yourself on the map. All right, so yeah, weapon or uh, aircraft like the buzzard or the annihilator will not, or the weapons on them will not work, okay? But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. A bunch of glitches here. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I wasn't around for the most of the weekend, but I did have some stuff to do I'm trying to get some money so I can afford a capture card and I can actually show, show you guys my dashboard and then eventually start streaming All right, I can't wait to start live streaming with all my subs and play with you guys man That'll be freaking awesome. All right, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content peace out everybody and have a great week.